So this is my lovely client. She is a nail biter and this is my first nail biter. So you all will experience this with me. First, I'm going to prep her nails. I push back her cuticles, remove the dead skin and etch her nail plate. And I'm using the zebra files that I showed you all in a previous video, so make sure you check that out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, whether you like hair, nails, makeup, I do it all. So make sure you check out my different playlists just in case you may only be interested in one or the other. So I'm just going to remove the dust and go in with my dehydrator and my primer. If you are not following me on Instagram, go on over and do that. So when I get ready to apply the nail forms, I like to roll it in between my pointer finger and my thumb so that it can kind of get a curve in it to match the nail bed. But because she was a nail biter, I had to do a lot of work. I basically had to cover the skin that was there so that my application will only be on her nail bed. This process would be a lot easier if someone has not bitten down their nails this low. All you have to do is put the form up under the natural nail and make sure that it's flush so that no acrylic seeps up under the form. This was actually her first time getting sculpted nails. So there I was just showing her the guidelines on the form so that you can pick how long you want the nails and things like that. If you are enjoying this video, please make sure you like and share it. So when I have all of the forms on, I'm going to go in with one to two coats of primer. And then before I apply the acrylic, I like to prime one more time. I try to work with the Mia Secret a little dry. I feel like when my brush is really wet, the acrylic is really runny. So I try to use as less liquid as I can so that my beads will have some stability. So basically I start applying the acrylic at the cuticle area and work my way down. 
I try to pat it all into place, make sure that there's no gaps, no lumps and things like that so that my filing will be easier. If you have tried any other Mid Secret products, please comment about that below. I know that they have a primer and a dehydrator and stuff like that. So let me know what your experiences were with those products. For the thumbnail, I always start at the bottom and work my way up for some reason. So you could just see me doing that now. If you have any ideas of any nail tutorials that you would like me to do, please comment about that below. I've been trying to find new things to do for you all. I know that I want to use these forms to do some stiletto nails, but they don't really work into my everyday way of life. So I might do them on some practice fingers just to try it out and to show you all my results. So now that all of the nails are done, I'm going to tap them with the end of the brush to make sure that the acrylic is set. And then I'm going to remove the forms. Now in the previous video where I showed you all these forms, I said that I liked the fact that they were very sticky. Well, these are extremely sticky. I could barely get it off of her finger. Overall, I really do like these nail forms. Some nail forms that I have tried in the past have bled once you put the acrylic on it. Just all kind of crazy stuff. So these forms are amazing compared to the other ones that I have tried in the past. And of course, a lot of the cheaper ones, as soon as you start adding acrylic to the nail form, they come undone so the nail will be misshapen and things like that with this i feel like because they are so sticky i didn't have to worry about that i could put the forms on all 10 fingers and then apply the acrylic to all 10 and the forms would not move so that's a plus now i'm just going to use that same zebra file to shape her nails up I like to start with the free edge sometimes, or I like to do the cuticle area first. It really depends on how I'm feeling at the time. So after everything is shaped and buffed, I'm going to go in with this peachy color. She wanted her nails to be rose gold. So I applied this peachy nail polish and then I'm going to follow up with that rose gold chrome powder. Because I don't use gel polish, 
I like to use the nail polish drying spray. So that's what you saw me just spray on her nails. And because this is regular polish and it doesn't have that tacky layer like gel polish, what I like to do with my chrome powders is just pat it into the nail and let it sit for a while so that when I apply my clear coat, the chrome doesn't just wash away. And here you can see how I'm applying the clear coat. I'm also kind of patting that on as well because that chrome doesn't really have anything tacky to stick to.